good YouTube. So <clears throat> I just want to get on here and say a prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we come into your courts with praise and thanksgiving. Just thank you for another day, for giving us another opportunity to correct mistakes, to break sin habits, to learn more about you, to get deeper into scripture and study your word and receive more clarity. I just pray that all the demonic attacks that are occurring throughout the world right now are futile and that all of the schemes and plans of the enemies fall apart that all of their communication become confounded with confusion and, and disrupted that they are unsuccessful in all of their attempts to break up the body of Christ I pray that new believers are created today, Lord, that, that more souls give their life to you and, and take their walk with you seriously. I pray that you soften the hearts and open the spiritual eyesight of those who are confused about the gospel and confused about what you did on the cross for us. Um, and I just want to go into the, <clears throat> the Lord's Prayer. Um, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, the glory, and the kingdom forever and ever. Lord, I just ask that you forgive us of all of our sins past, present, and that you help us to not sin in the future, that you help us to remain in you, to remain focused on, on your word and implementing your teachings, that we always go to you instead of thinking of ways to handle situations ourselves. Um, I pray that you equip us with the full armor of God, starting with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the feet of peace, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, the garments of vengeance, the cloak of zeal. Uh, equip our feet with the readiness, gird our loins with truth. Uh, place on us a, a crown of rejoicing, anoint our heads with oil. We ask that that you silence all of the demonic voices that are around us when we come around other individuals that are oppressed or possessed. We just ask that that you deliver them, that the Holy Spirit that is in us that delivers them automatically and that they just start to expel demons whenever in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Um, we ask that you assemble that armor in a correct order, Lord. I was just going off of memory. And I just pray that, that, that the anointing is heavy on us today, that you bring healing, that you deliver people of sickness. And most importantly, Lord, I just pray that your will be done. I just ask that, that you manifest your will here on earth as you see fit, Lord. And I just pray that, that, that we just get more people to, to, to give their life to you, Lord, to start digging into scripture and start researching more i just pray that everybody who posts videos um about you that are positive and accurate that is the true gospel i pray that the true gospel is, is heard more lord throughout the whole world i pray pray that if there's any restrictions um on the internet and other companies that the gospel leaks through that it breaks through those barriers that those, those blocks are ineffective against the gospel. I pray that the gospel is not restricted in any form. I pray that Muslims and Hindus and Buddhists and New Agers and people that practice the occult and, they, and people that practice witchcraft and they think that it's harmless, 
I pray that they start receiving the true gospel and that it, it strikes a chord with them and, and it hits them on a deep level to where they know it's the truth and they know they have to embrace it. And I pray that when people are starting to hear the truth, Lord, I pray that you silence and, and, and bind all the demonic entities that are in or around them completely. I just pray that they're completely dismantled. I pray that all unclean spirits are are rebuked and and, 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 and casted out and, and are are barred and blocked from influencing these people any longer. I just pray that since you know who knows and who doesn't know the way things work in the spiritual realm. That, that you give them provision, Lord, that you just automatically protect them and that you that you step in and that you employ their angels if their angels are unemployed. I just pray that that they can't escape the truth, Lord. That's what I pray. I pray that they can't escape the true gospel. And I pray that they know without any doubts whatsoever that they're 100% convicted that there is a hell and that is a real destination for those who do not take their walk with you seriously, Lord. I just pray for more believers. I pray for children to be completely delivered from all demonic influence, from all sexualization, from all um, corrupt media and mind control and brainwashing and, and, and cultural conditioning and program. I just pray that all of these chains are broken off your children, Lord. I, I pray that that there's a definite uh, exposing of the tears of the demonic entities that walk amongst amongst us in human form, Lord. I just pray that they are exposed. I pray that all false doctrine is exposed, and I pray that that anybody that is is promoting a false doctrine, Lord, that they are exposed and that they understand what they have done and that they go back and correct it and they delete videos and they delete posts and they delete everything that is promoting a false doctrine. I pray that they 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 um make amends with their followers and their community and they 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 post a correction video posting that they've were misled or deceived in the past and, and now they, they want to um, clarify things and clear the air and and present the correct teachings now. And that's what I pray, Lord. I just pray for correction. I pray for reproof amongst believers and, and I just pray that whoever is is trying to make a profit off the gospel. I pray that people that are trying to filter what things to post from their community, and I'm talking about people that have YouTube channels that are posting rapture dreams or they're posting information that they receive from other people. I pray that it's you and the Holy Spirit that is filtering the content and not them. I pray that, that they stop filtering what they feel is correct and that you, that you filter it and that you make sure that the correct gospel is being promoted and that the correct gospel is being received and I pray that for those who refuse to do that I pray that their followers and people the baby Christians and the, and the people that are, are new to the faith I pray that you make sure that they receive the true gospel Lord and I pray that the full, true gospel is being preached to these people, especially in the areas of once saved, always saved doctrine. And I pray that if they are promoting that that they that they are only saved by believing on Jesus, that you make sure that they include every aspect of that because it is deeper than that lord and, and you know it jesus wouldn't say that he hated the doctrine of the nicolaitans if there was if, if there was nothing wrong with their doctrine i i believe that that lord that you do want us to be perfect like like you are in heaven lord i do believe that all things are possible through christ would strengthen us or 
a disciple couldn't walk on water and the, the Red Sea couldn't be parted and the dead could not be raised if all things were not possible through Christ which strengthened us. I believe that we can break addictions. I am living proof of being able to overcome sinful habits and addictions by, by Jesus, by everything that Jesus did for us on the cross, by his shed blood for us. So I just pray that, that they understand that that yes, yes, we all we have to do is call on the name of the Lord Jesus. But you know, faith without works is dead. You know, we know that your grace is sufficient, Lord, but we also know that you don't want us to be lukewarm, Lord. We know that that the lukewarm isn't about <laughs> non-believers. The lukewarm implies that that you knew better. You just chose to not meet that bar, to meet that standard. You you chose you chose the easy route instead of being on the front line preaching the true gospel. You know, you have hot and you have cold and you have lukewarm. So we know that there is a difference between these three things. And if, if the lukewarm will be spit out with the cold then we have to know that the lukewarm and the cold are similar. But we know that the lukewarm knew what it was like to be on fire. We knew they knew that there was a there was more that could have been done. And they chose the middle road. So I just pray, Lord, that that you really weigh heavy on, on the hearts of those that just preach um, sh that sugar coated preach and that eat the easy gospel because the Bible states, Lord, this is scripture that those who love their life will lose it and those who hate their life will gain it. So we know, Lord, that this is not an easy walk. This is not the wide road to heaven. It's a wide road to destruction, Lord. And, 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 and those scriptures go hand in hand with the lukewarm scriptures, Lord. It's a wide path to destruction. It's a wide road to destruction. Narrow and straight is the gate to the Lord. It's difficult. But we are overcomers. And, and, and those that are preaching complacency, Lord, those who are preaching uh, comfortable doctrine, Lord, I just ask that you visit them, that you 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 let your will be done in their life and you let it be known to them, Lord. I'm praying that you do that so that we don't have to go and correct them, so we don't have to quarrel and argue with our brothers and sisters in Christ. I just ask that you make that separation apparent, that you expose those who are not 100% for you and who are not encouraging people to be 100% for you. I pray that you expose those people that are praying that are preaching this lukewarm doctrine, Lord, this, this false doctrine. Too many people are going to go to hell because of complacency and comfortability and sugarcoated preaching, Lord. So I pray that you raise up real warriors. I pray that you raise up real soldiers that want to be on the front line, that will give their life and understand that they may lose their life in this battle, their physical life. Because we know that, that we, we have e eternal salvation in you, Lord, if we remain in you, if we remain connected to the source. We know that you can graft people in, Lord. So I just pray that, and that is my prayer for today. I'm not trying to attack anybody in the body of Christ, but we have to know that the enemy is not focused on the strip clubs and, and, and where evil is rampant. He's bringing his fight to the church. He's infiltrating the church. He's infiltrating pastors. He's operating as a wolf in sheep's clothing. And we have to know that. We have to, to pray for discernment. So I just pray, Lord, that our discernment is stronger. And I pray that all of those where you know their thoughts, their feelings, and their heart, and their action, if, if they're false and if it's off in any way, I pray that first you visit them 
and, and, and weigh on them to make those corrections. And if they don't do it, I pray that you expose them, Lord. I pray that they are exposed because this is this is a dangerous, dangerous predicament that we're in, Lord. And, and it bothers me that that people will go to hell. I don't want nobody to go to hell. Just as it is your wish that none shall perish, that is my prayer as well, Lord. So I just pray that, that more is done. In Jesus' heavenly name, amen.